hello followers of my youtube channel welcome to uh, today's tutorial on JS application for the hero model which is a revised universal sales location okay so uh, mostly we have seen that uh, different uh, Resources are uh, contacted using this revised universal cellular application with the application of JIS. All right, so uh, and before that, we, we are going to know about uh, what mean erosion. Okay, so this erosion is a process of uh, detachment transports of the soil particles. By the erosive agents as the sun said in the 1944. So there are a lot of uh, erosive agents. Okay, so the first uh, one is that is raindrop impact. The second one is that is our land flow surface runoff. Okay, from the rainfall. And sometimes there is a uh, wind. Okay. So basically, the raindrop impact and the world uh, land flow surface runoff are the main erosive agents uh, for the formations of erosion. Okay, so um, this JIS has a potential for predicting soil erosion. So this uh, JIS guides us. Uh, a management decision based on the output of choice. Uh, we can manage or we can provide decision. In addition, we can evaluate impact of erosion. For instance, after we have uh, estimating the sediment yield for the uh, hotspot areas of uh, watershed, we can evaluate the impact. Okay. Maybe be, uh, on the watershed or a basin level. So it is very important to look at. Eh? And certainly uh, we can uh, use JIS as inventory for inventory soil erosion. Okay. In addition, we can use its help us for conservation planning. After we are uh, Conducting research, you can proceed with conservation planning measures. Okay, for instance, we may provide different soil and water conservation practices in the watershed. So, uh, this choice is very helpful in order to uh, provide this conservation planning. All right. Therefore, uh, the mostly used method here is a universal soil loss equation. Actually, for the NIAS this time being, this is a revised one, that is a revised universal soil loss equation. So this universal uh, soil loss equation is defined by this equation, actually. A equals R times K times LS times C times B in tons per hectare per year, okay? So this A is uh, soil erosion from one uh, hectare land, okay, in a year. And this R is a uh, rainfall erosivity factor. That means uh, the power of the rainfall that detaches the soil uh, particle. And K is a uh, soil erodibility factor. That means uh, strength of the soil to be eroded by the rainfall, all right? And LS is that is uh, the slope, as well as the slope length factor. That means uh, the land may have its slope, as well as the length of the slope is that is, uh, including this, the length of the slope is LS. And the uh, other parameter is the vegetation cover, factor C. For instance, some area may be uh, covered by different vegetations and uh, uh, the rest may be uncovered. So those areas have different uh, capability for erosions. So this cover factor is uh, one of the parameters for this uh, revised universal soil occasions and uh, 
conservation practices as well okay if there are conservation practices or measures uh, so these conserved areas uh, may not be affected by soil erosion and uh, the unconserved one may have high soil erosion so start uh, parameters under the universal soil gain so when, when when we are saying that the universal soil gain should have to remember those uh, parameters okay therefore this uh, the universal soil gain has uh, its own shortcomings or limitations but it has most frequently used in the uh, erosion studies okay so the main uh, reason why this universal soil gain is selected is that it is a simple okay simple and robust form of the equation okay the equation is very simple and that is why most of the researchers have selected these equations and other is uh, to get a success in predicting the average long-term erosion on uniform slopes or field units okay so uh, due to those uh, importance this uh, in the universal soil equation is now still uh, widely applied okay so um, we can apply we can apply this uh, revised universal soil gains actually in different areas okay application areas we can apply in croplands pastoral land range land and uh, it may be on construction sites okay so it has a wide range of uh, applications or applicable areas so we can uh, use this the revised universal soil locations in different areas so it is all about the introduction on the applications of GIS on estimating soil erosion by using the revised universal soil locations and um, for the coming video we will see each of the parameters okay each of the parameters with application of GIS how to determine each parameter under ArcGIS okay don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel and that is uh, uh, all about uh, today's tutorial have a nice time